Hi, I'm Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe for more of that. If you have, I know you haven't subscribed. Now you freaking subscribe, all right? I want to hang out more. <sighs> you got me all flustered. Today we're talking about timing things inside of Fusion, moving nodes back and forth to line them up in time, make sure everything goes swimmingly. Let's get into it. Here we have a dude shooting a gun. Nice, that's cool. The only problem is there's no awesome muzzle flash. It's just normal looking gun, which by the way, that's how it actually looks. But we want to movie it up and put a muzzle flash on it. Let's do it. A way to do that is to use a stock element. This is a quick time movie from our friends over at Rampant Design. Check out rampantdesigntools.com. And this is high frame rate footage of actual muzzle flashes. So that's pretty cool. This is about as real as it gets. But let's say we wanna composite these two things in Fusion. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. I feel like the easiest way to do it is to line it up here in the edit page first, if you're gonna line up two layers like this. So what I like to do is trim this edit to where I want it to be. So I'm gonna trim this bottom layer and we'll stop it right there. And we'll trim like that. By the way, if you don't know how to edit at all and you're like, what the heck is he doing? What is all this? Check out this video right here. It goes through all the basics of editing and workflow in Resolve. Now we're gonna take this clip and let's see, I'll just move this down here and I'm just gonna page through it with my left and right keys here. I'm gonna use this middle one right here. And so I'll cut it right there, delete the first part. I'm gonna move forward a couple frames and cut it. Now we have this starting right where that muzzle flash begins. Now I'll move to where I want it to begin in the timeline. Right here, this kicks back and we're gonna have this muzzle flash go right before that. I'll park the playhead there and I'll move this clip down to start right there at the playhead. So now we've done a lot of work here before we even get into fusion. This again is my favorite way to do this. Make sure that all the timing and everything works. You can even grab this clip and turn on your transform controls here in the viewer and you can roughly size and position this thing to do a lot of the work before you even get into fusion, right? In fact, this particular thing, you probably don't even really need to go into fusion for, but I'm gonna show you how it works just so you know, because you're probably going to want generally to put smoke and all kinds of stuff in here. You won't always have a real gunshot like this. Now that that's roughly sized and positioned, again, that's optional, doesn't really matter. The important part is timing and trimming everything right here. I can select both of these things in the timeline and I'll right click and say new fusion clip. So now this is made a fusion clip and if I have my playhead over it and I click on fusion, then it'll open up in the fusion page and everything's lined up exactly how it's supposed to be. In fact, it's even moved to where it's supposed to be. So you can kind of do a lot of work in the edit page before you even get into Fusion. And I think that's a really smart way to go. The one part about doing it this way is that if you move stuff around or trim stuff here in the keyframes panel, it kind of gets wonky. It's probably a bug right now. I wouldn't mess with this a whole lot after you bring it out from the timeline. That's just my experience. So now that we have everything here in the Fusion page, we can begin our composite. So I'll just grab this merge and for apply mode, we'll just say screen. It's gonna make this a little bit more realistic. And if this is too long, I can just turn this down here with our blend, can move to the frame that I like, hit a keyframe, move to the next frame and turn the blend all the way down. So now we have our general composite and we can do things like add lighting and everything on that frame. So that's a pretty easy way to do it. The other way that you can kind of line stuff up in Fusion is if you start with a new Fusion composition, I'll just go over here to the media pool, right click and say new Fusion composition and hit create and double click on it to open it up. If you start with a new Fusion composition that isn't from a timeline, it's a little bit easier to move around stuff in the Fusion page. You can kind of build this as you go. So I can grab this gunshot and drag it in as my media one and I'll connect that to media out. Let's say we want to add our muzzle flash here. I'll grab our muzzle flash and drag it in and merge it over. But of course, this isn't the right size. It isn't the right time or anything. Again, what we can do is move to the frame that we want to put this flash on. So let's say this one right here, frame 31. But if I want to move stuff back and forth in time in the Fusion page, that happens in the keyframes panel. Click that right here, and that'll open up down in the lower right-hand corner. Now, if we click on zoom to fit, we can see we have our muzzle flash movie right here. And if I mouse over, I get this icon that's a vertical line with two arrows. I can grab this and drag it back and forth and adjust the edit in time. So let's say we want this to start right there. We'll use this flare. I can grab our zoom to rectangle tool and just drag a box here. So now we can see this muzzle flash and I can even grab the edge and trim it down to only be as long as it needs to be. 
So there we go. I have that timed. And again, this really only works well if it's just brought right into a composition. If you're bringing it from a timeline, it acts kind of weird. Again, something I'm sure they'll fix. But now that we have the timing all right, and click off of our keyframes panel, I can grab our merge and I can size this and move it to where it's supposed to be. Apply mode, screen, however you want to do it. And now we have the same effect but it's built all inside of the Fusion page. Cool, right? So there you go. That's how to move things back and forth in time inside of Fusion. It can kind of be a little bit tricky. If you want to learn more about compositing and Fusion and the basics of that, check out this video right here. It goes through all of the basics of Fusion. If you were a little bit lost, oh, it's a great time. Hmm, we could hang out some more, you and me. We could have Capri Sun. We could jump on the trampoline. There you go. Oh, Kool-Aid jammers. That's what I'm talking about.